Well, well, well. Good evening, everyone. I am Mo Love, and tonight is Friday night, and uh, I decided what I was going to do was uh, whittle around this here, get my get get right with this pick. So y'all come along with me. That string sounds so tinny. <clears throat> So vibrate, uh, vibratable. About all these things. <clears throat> Break it. But we're gonna have to tighten up this knot or something. Look at here. See how I'm pulling on that string on that string. Y'all can't see this knot on there. But I'm gonna show it to you. I don't know. You see that see that little knot right there? See this little knot right here? That's what's keeping. That's what's making it sound like that. That little knot right there. I'm trying to work it out. Maybe it'll tighten up or something. Something's. That's how I so jacked up, don't I? I don't like it. No, I don't like it. What y'all think we ought to be able to do to get that out of there? Hmm. I don't want to break the string. The string is tight as it can be. But it's got that jacked up sound. I don't like it. <clears throat> what I did was I took two strings together, right? And then I just took it and I wound it up into a loop and then pulled it together and then pulled it out like that and then made it stretch out. Oh well. That did it. That did it. Guess what? Where did it go? Oh, boy, that joke went. There it is. Oh, well. Guess we'll just have to throw that over there to the side. 
Throw it over there to the side. People. 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 We gotta throw that to the side. It is no longer any good. It wouldn't sound like it. <laughs> you know, I met a woman from Louisiana. Uh, <clears throat> back in 2000. Good Lord. Oh, good Lord. The 2009, something like that. And I had this other little piece of guitar. <laughs> And she said, <laughs> I was plucking on it. And she said, I don't know, it sounded like a dead cat or something. <laughs> a dying cat, man. <laughs> uh, she had me laughing at myself. I was like, girl, it ain't, it ain't tuned up. She said, it need more than tuned up. You need to take that thing and throw it in the trash or something. <laughs> A <laughs> dead cat. <laughs> I said, you so right. right now. Bring your ice out them bushes right now. Come on out, boy. Cause I ain't falling for no no trickery. Find you one of them goodies. She was, she was good. She, she was a real uh, Louisiana. She wasn't just <clears throat> somebody said they were from Louisiana. She was a real swamp. And I said, Well, what you do when you was down there? In the in the hurricane. She said, oh. as a matter of fact, she was uh Working for, she was a paramedic. She was on the paramedic. I said, oh, you help save lives. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said, yeah, y'all. I said, y'all ain't got nobody. Don't nobody care. Just as soon as you start getting some attention. Come that house out the bushes and come that nigger house. <laughs> and she she didn't look black, you know. She had curly hair. She almost looked like a Jew or something. But like I said, she was cool, so I had to get played. She was cool. I take you and run off with you, but no, I better not. Because every time you find you want, here come a hound out the bushes. <laughs> Did I tell y'all that story about La La Million? <laughs> yeah, she had quite a few friends. I was one of them. Just a friend now. 
I'm telling you, I, when I say friend, I'm telling you a real friend. You know, you run around down there on the riverbank. And for most of them, most of the time, I was just out on uh, what they call being on the liberal tip. You know, you just turn to a hippie, don't give a damn. You just gonna live off the, off the, the air of the Lord, whatever the Lord bring. You just gonna work with it, right? So, uh, La La Million popped up at the Sally one day, and seen her at breakfast, right? And uh. Got some little food, sat on down, and I said, good morning. And she said, smiled and kept on eating. Guess it's good, you know, I guess that was where it was. Then from that point on, we just had a, you know, click together. You know, we out here. Life is. Second chance and to get it together, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, try to get get it together. This is the place, you know what I mean? Ups and downs, everybody have ups and downs in life. Just get your shit together if you can. About two or three days later, here come this little hound dog. <laughs> and I spoke to him. And, oh. oh. How you don't even talking to me? Oh. Oh. Like, yeah, you popped up today. All right. It's a good morning, that's all, bro. And let it go from there. And all of a sudden, he kept popping up all the time. Then he thought it was something else, and it's like, look, man, I'm going to tell you right now. You know. Now, look, she can come pop up to this cat like anytime you want to. Quit trying to cut her off when she's trying to get loose from you. And you want to sit and talk to me all fucking night in case she come here. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't your psychiatrist, Nick. Go get you one. You know, if she come to this goddamn car, I even told you. We just friends. And besides that, if friends is friends, I don't know. I don't know that woman don't know me. She just, we're just friends, period. But quit, stop trying to cut her off because she didn't listen. Let me tell you something. At, then I, at that time, I hadn't lost enough weight where I can... I could be in one spot and be in another spot. Shit, faster than, than the goddamn bus can take you there. She was twice as fast as that. With her thin self, man. <laughs> and, uh, he was already that way, you know. He was slender himself. So he could walk, take some steps, right? You know, take up a lot of. about six foot tall or whatever like that so when he step he can he can you know stride i had to tell the nigga that man look i was friends with her you popped off at the mouth when i tried to be friends with you or be just say good morning to you and then now you see here coming around to me to get the fuck away from me. you and all the rest of the men so see that was the thing when she came around me, we talked. You know, a person could talk, have a conversation. You know, any other man, you'd be around it pretty soon, you know, with you know where the conversation's gonna go. But she didn't have to, she didn't have to worry about that. So I had to tell the nigga, man, look. Man, stop trying to cut her off from coming around here. You you see she ain't here. Don't think you're gonna sit here all night talking. Me and my car, I don't be bothered with you, man. I wasn't a friend. You, you popped off. 
And that's that was your first impression of you. So don't don't do it, man. Just go ahead on about your goddamn business. I ain't got no problem with you. I try to let you know. It was all good when most niggas don't. They always take a posture like, oh, here come this cock blocker, right? I didn't do none of that. I didn't know that woman from Canada got that thing. And I wasn't finna uh, go into that, you know how you start going into that road. You, like a dog. Somebody give you a goddamn sack of, uh, uh, A McDonald's and Burger King, you got that sack in your own mouth. Watching the traffic, make sure you don't get hit so you can take it somewhere and finally go in there and get it. Sometimes, yeah, Arkansas was like that. Sometimes people would be a dog hanging out at the thing and they go in there and buy that dog a whole fucking meal. Trust me, man. By the dog, dog is cool the motherfucker. Everybody know the dog, right? You know, I had, I had to scrape this nigga up, man. Now look, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. You want to yesterday? You want to come talk to me to head her off? She might because you don't know where she at. Don't think you gonna come hang in my shit. We ain't that cool. You know what I mean? We cool, but we ain't that cool yet. Had a laid down like OG Ricky, man. The grown folks channel. You know what I mean? Oh, no, they all we cool, but we ain't cool like that. So let me tell you something. In the conversation, nigga, it could get where the woman need a little help that you, somebody else ain't got. Want something that damn it? You know, don't block, don't block her blessings, nigga. <laughs> don't block her blessings from a friend, cause while you over here sitting your ass over in this car, you're like that's all right. Then shook you over in my car. I don't want you want your shook ass over here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't want your shook ass over here sitting in my car talking to me about nothing. And then he explained to me he was in the military and all that shit. Yeah, girl, well, join the game. Yeah, thank you for what part you participated in. Yeah, join the game. Oh, my, I'm a veteran as well, so. That's Army. He said he was in the Marines and got kicked out or some bullshit. He getting drunk or some bullshit and hit up on him. He, he, he tried a, a staff sergeant. Staff sergeant kicked his ass. Getting drunk. Came down. Anyhow, anyhow. Yeah, man, straighten the little nigga out, man. Running your ass over here. Well, I ain't gonna bore y'all with trying to string this guitar. Up. Uh, let me let me come back. Let me see if I can get this thing to half ass make some noise, man. And then I'll be back. You with me? All right, we'll put a little stank on it.